All right, so hey everyone, I'm Ewan Jaspin. I'm rider and work at Nash, and uh, we're going to go through our kite lineup for this year. We've got an exciting new release in the Phoenix, and then some great changes throughout our other kites, which I'll yeah I'll explain to you now. I'll start off just with the the pivot. It's kind of our most well-known kite, our biggest seller, and it's one that's. Yeah, it's done really well for us over the years in all aspects of kiteboarding. It started off as a wave kite. From there, we developed it. Uh, some of the riders really discovered its potential for big air and all-round free ride. And since then, we've just been developing it to be more and more high performance in the big air arena while keeping its kind of really well-rounded feel. So this year, what we've done, we've actually redesigned the bridle. It's uh, gone to a five-point bridle system on the leading edge on the front bridle We're getting a bit windy here so before we just had two points here we had one here and one around here now we spread them out a little bit and added one in the middle which really spreads the load and what this has really done is the high-end performance has increased dramatically it really holds its shape and arc perfectly in all conditions from 10 knots to 40 knots you're going to see the exact same arc in the kite which really gives you that extra trust and and feel in all conditions. Along with that in the 12 and the 14 meter, we've made them a little higher aspect to be able to hold that grunt down a little more and have a more fun, playful kite in lighter winds. We've increased the panel count too in those kites to give the canopy a more rigid structure. And then with that mixed with the new bridle system on those kites, the 12 and the 14 are, are really great. So from the pivot, we have our new A new kind of jumping kite, which is the Phoenix. This is a high aspect five strut kite. And it's kind of where it sits in the line compared to the pivot is the person who wants to go out and have a more floaty, glidey jump with less effort as well, softer landings. It, if you look at the jump profile between the two kites, a pivot would be more of a spike up and a quicker down, whereas a Phoenix is kind of a longer, glidier jump like this. And it takes a lot less skill and edge control to get those consistent jumps. You can sheet in and steer the kite up and every time you're gonna get a really predictable, eat, great jump and a soft landing. So that's where the Phoenix comes in. It's also really impressive in the bigger sizes, which is something that we've really focused on in the last year or two is making our 12, 14, we have a 13 and a half in the Phoenix meter kites really improved in light winds so the big air performance and the free ride performance in those light winds has been drastically improved across the the range and that's where the phoenix really excels is the 12 and the 13 and a half i'll uh grab now so here we have the boxer so the boxer is our single strap kite it's been around for a little while now and what we're trying to do is basically just make it the most lightweight, best light wind kite for foiling and for light wind wave riding and then light wind twin tipping. So it comes all the way from a 2.8 meter all the way up to a 16 meter. So it's got the largest size range out of any kite in our line. And the smaller ones are really specifically designed for kite foiling and these such as the four do all the kite tricks really well. They have plenty of power to get up and going. They have a luff strut, which means the center strut is not actually directly attached to the canopy, which is really great for get up, sheet in and go, and then drift as well for foiling and for wave riding in light winds. The box really excels. And then the, the big ones, the 14 and the 16 meter, they're just really great kind of light wind twin tip kites super powerful they really expand nicely and make a lot of power out of them so they're not probably the kite that you'd want to go in light wind to jump big but if you want to go out and wave ride or cruise around or foil that's where the boxer really excels and it's the lightest kite in a lineup flies really well in no wind all right <laughs> here we go there you go so and then our other kite in the lineup is the triad so the triad came out a couple of years ago, kind of as the one kite for 99% of the population, we kind of brought it out as a toned down, easier to control version of the pivot. And since then, it's kind of evolved quite a lot. And this year, it's 
really we've worked on its wave performance as well. So we no longer have the slash in the lineup, which means the triad. The reason behind getting rid of the slash actually was we started tuning the triad a bit more and started riding in the waves and we're really enjoying its performance and it was giving us everything that the slash did and needed to do, but also giving this beginner ease of use, sheet in and go feeling thanks to it's also got a last strut similar to the boxer which means for sheet in and go it really expands nicely means you can ride a smaller kite for wave riding as well and get that instant power and this year what we've done as well we've kind of squared the wingtips off which give it much better drift down the line and also load the aspect ratio a little bit so it turns faster just to kind of tune it more towards wave riding than it was before so that's really great now because before People were a little confused whether to go for a pivot, whether to go for a triad. And now this year we've kind of broadened the gap between the two, made them a little bit more distinctive. Where So the triad is great if you're looking more towards the wave riding and ease of use. And the pivot is more performance, free ride all around, big air, but more performance based. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up our kite lineup. And uh, yeah, hope you guys are stoked with it. We've got kind of something for everything and yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you.